Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying Cravings by Zoe, a truffle collection. This has 16 assorted truffles. It says our melt in your mouth bite sized truffles are comprised of the finest quality ingredients and expertly crafted for a delicate experience you won't soon forget. The rich complex flavors will bring joy and a bit of heaven with every morsel. Let us satisfy your every craving. They are created and packaged in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. There are eight servings in the container. Two truffles, 27 grams, or 130 calories. And they were wrapped with um, plastic, wrap. plastic wrap. I already removed the plastic wrap uh, because I took a picture, yes. And when I did that, I saw they do give you a cheat sheet. Thank goodness, I love a good cheat sheet. <laughs> so, you get, 16 truffles. There you go. There's Pretty small. Your, there's they're your not, close up. They're not tiny, but they're they're not huge either. Okay, so that's a lot. It is a lot. You're you're right. Um, they are not. I don't think in any particular order. Okay, so this is. Let's do this one first. It is chocolate white chocolate. It is milk chocolate flakes mm -hmm. sprinkled on a white chocolate shell. It encases the thick, creamy milk chocolate ganache inside. It's like it's uh, the chocolate. Pretty thick layer of chocolate in there. You know, that to me though, doesn't come across as a truffle. Mm -hmm. Really, it doesn't. Oh. What would you call it then? Just a white chocolate. I mean, like, it's well, not. Well, the center though is, is truffly. I didn't think it was as soft as a lot of truffles. It's more, well, it's pretty firm. It's like a really thick pudding. Yeah, it just, I, I think because the outer shell it's is very so crisp. thick. Yeah. yeah. It's so thick and crisp that you get so much of that that I got less of the filling. It was good. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it didn't seem like truffle to me. Um, this is the caramel white chocolate. Milk, well, I guess. milk and dark chocolate drizzles adorn the white chocolate outer shell nestled inside a classic soft buttery center. Mm -hmm. That's what I would have guessed is caramel. It doesn't taste like a, a pure caramel. It tastes like a chocolate with caramel flavor, like caramel mixed in. Mm -hmm. Again, the texture on the inside is about the same, but the outside is so crisp that it, it doesn't seem to be soft, but I think it is. It just kind of goes away so fast. Um, They've got these little truffles or whatever locked in place pretty they good. Do, that's that's right. I mean, that's a good thing. They, um, the white chocolate, it, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. Um, there's some flavor that they, maybe it's the caramel uh, for that one because that one doesn't taste like the one before it. Um, so it might be something in that caramel. But neither one of these white chocolates are uh, like the over the top sweet white chocolate that I would like. And honestly, I don't think they're as creamy as other truffles I have. Yeah, they're I, just not. I think they're, I think they're fine texture wise, it's just not as sweet. Uh, amaretto milk chocolate infused with a delicate almond flavor and overtones of ripe cherries mm. deliciously paired with a milk chocolate shell. It smells like chocolate. Mm. Definitely get that, that flavor. I like that much better. There's a touch of salt there. Do you get a little touch of salt? Mm -mm. Maybe the crystal salt fell off. No, I got the else. cherries. What I'm tasting. Oh, it's cherries, 100%. Yes, it's cherries. It reminds you, for me, it's like a flavor of a chocolate covered cherry, but mm -hmm. it doesn't have all that syrup. Right. So it's not right. like, oh, it's sweet, but it's not over the top sweet. Right. Not literally syrupy sweet. Not syrupy sweet, yes. But I like that much, much, much better than the, the white. Yeah, it's, it's very good. 
Does that texture seem better in that one? Yes, yes. Everything about that one yeah. was better. So I think it's the same texture, but the white chocolate was so crisp that it, it took away from it. You couldn't tell. Okay. Yeah, I'm letting you handle it. This one, hopefully. It's chocolate and white chocolate. On top. A dark chocolate and white Yes, chocolate. hopefully it's the caramel milk chocolate. White and dark chocolate drizzles yep. adorn the milk chocolate outer shell. Nestled inside is a classic soft buttery center. Now we'll Oops. see if this caramel reminds me of the one in the white. Yeah, those mean. I'll tell you what, I think it was just the white chocolate I just yeah. didn't like. Yeah, because the, that was delicious. Yeah, and it's the same to me, except the white chocolate wasn't as chocolatey. It's that white chocolate. I'm glad, I would never say that before. I'm glad they only gave you two white ones yeah. because I really just don't care for that white chocolate. It's okay. I like the milk chocolate and I love the caramel flavor. Mm -hmm. The caramel's really good. It's very sweet. Like I said, it's not like a pure caramel. It's like a chocolate with caramel infused into it. But it is soft. Mm -hmm. and, and you definitely uh, know it's caramel. Yeah, but it wasn't, uh, a lot of caramel is really thick and chewy. Yeah, it wasn't it's like, not like that. No. Okay, this is chocolate, milk chocolate. Milk chocolate flakes sprinkled on a milk chocolate shell encases the thick, creamy milk chocolate ganache inside. So what are we gonna taste? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Milk chocolate. <laughs> And you do good. It's a very good quality chocolate. It's um, it's good and creamy. Uh, it's rich. It's nice. It is just milk chocolate, though. Yeah. Really, I mean, do I think this that milk chocolate is any better than any other chocolate? I really don't. It no. just tastes like milk chocolate. Yeah. So that one, but I mean, I do like it. Um, it's good. And this is the, and I got a little bit of salt at the end. I think we get salt from something else. Mm. I don't think any salt from that one. Wow. Well, it looks like this has salt on it. So mm -hmm. maybe some of those, There's one right there. maybe some of those flakes fell off. Um, and this That's is Irish cream milk chocolate. Experience the warmth of the smooth liqueur flavor in a milk chocolate shell as the cream envelops your tongue with Nuances of vanilla, caramel, and honey. I can see that. Mmm. You definitely taste Irish mm -hmm. cream. Yeah, you get that creamy vanilla flavor more than anything. And I think honey probably just adds the sweetness to it. It's mainly vanilla. Yeah. That one though, that's one of those that you could be blindfolded. And that's a really strong Irish cream. A lot of times Irish cream, it's um, it's a, just a hint. That's strong. That's, that's strong. like you. It doesn't taste like alcohol though. Not like rubbing alcohol. Alcohol. No, <laughs> but you, but there is a uh, liqueur flavor yeah. to it. Absolutely. This is sea salt caramel milk chocolate. The perfect combination of savory and sweet. A creamy buttery center is delicately covered in milk chocolate and sprinkled with pink Himalayan sea salt. I like the salt. It was dark chocolate? Mm mm. Milk. Okay. I didn't think of, I thought you said dark for some reason. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, it doesn't taste like dark chocolate. You know what, though? It's amazing how salt makes such a big difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would have never put thought to put salt on chocolate. It's absolutely terrific. And I have all that salt now in my teeth. Yeah. And that uh, milk chocolate was thick mm -hmm. and rich. It was delicious. It was very good. This is tiramisu milk chocolate. Mm. Brighten your day with this light mocha flavored cream kissed delight. Enveloped in a milk chocolate shell and rolled in assorted chocolate bits, the taste and aroma of an authentic espresso. Mm. I get a little bit of that espresso flavor, but it's mostly chocolate. There can't be that many. That was the 
white chocolate and the milk chocolate. These are all dark chocolate. Oh. Are you okay to keep going? No. Um, I do get the espresso flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't care for it that much. It's okay. It's, I don't like it as much as I've had. We've had lots of espresso flavors mm -hmm. and other chocolates, and I like those more. Um, it's okay. It kind of um, it 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 um, it just does not do it for me. That would be one that I would not choose again. Yeah, it, it's okay. It's not bad. I like the it's Irish just... cream much better. Yeah. Okay, now. Caramel milk chocolate, uh, sorry, caramel dark chocolate. It's supposed to be white with a, this one. That one. Caramel, caramel dark chocolate. A mixture of white and milk chocolate sh strings on a shell of dark chocolate adds a truly scrumptious coating to the creaminess of the buttery caramel center. That's good. You you would never know that was dark chocolate. Probably. It is. It's different than the milk. Yeah, it's not quite as as sweet and creamy. But it is still because it's in caramel. It's still very very sweet. So, if you don't want like the high, uh, uh, very high sweetness level of the milk chocolate, the dark chocolate you would be just as happy with it because yeah it's not bitter yeah um this or drying one, or anything like that no this is champagne dark chocolate an elegant and luxurious flavor exudes as the first bite brings a crisp burst of effervescence effervescence to the tongue and a smooth memorable finish lingers on the palate rich dark outer shell imagine having to write a summary for each one of these. A description. I think sometimes it's makes stuff up. <laughs> I love that. They took the name and just said what they thought it would taste like because I didn't get any effervescence on my tongue. <laughs> I'm expecting like pops and explosions, you know. It wasn't. It was just chocolate. I, I love. It was good flavor. That. That. You really do. You can tell that it was champagne. I yeah, like I'm that. used to the Marc de Champagne though flavor, mm -hmm. and that's nowhere near that strong. It's of a not. Flavor. It's not Marc de Champagne. Yeah. And these aren't those truffles. Right. That's what I'm saying though. It doesn't. It just doesn't have the same. When they say champagne, I was expecting that kind of flavor, and it doesn't. Yeah. These are not those truffles, but these are would make a nice gift. They're good. Uh, yeah. This is the chocolate dark chocolate. Milk chocolate flakes sprinkled on dark chocolate shell encases the thick, creamy milk chocolate ganache inside. So it's dark chocolate, milk chocolate inside. No sane person would eat a half a box of chocolate. Hmm? No sane person would sit and eat a, whole, a half a box of chocolate. We're going to be eating the whole box. But we're only eating half each. Mm. We can come back to it if you want. Sorry, we only have five more pieces. That's good. It's I'm glad still, they used milk chocolate on the inside. Oh, it would have been too dark. Because I actually, that's the first dark one I've gotten a little bit of that dark chocolate flavor. Yes. So the milk chocolate on the inside added some sweetness that it needed. Mm -hmm. I, I still don't think their dark chocolate, I do think their dark chocolate has a lot of sweetness in it. It does. It does. And it's not drying and it's not really bitter. Yeah. But that one was more like dark chocolate than the other one. It's on the lighter side of dark. Yeah. Uh, this is coffee dark chocolate. The rich, robust flavor of a good cup of java is captured in this bite-sized delight. Whipped in dark chocolate and drizzled with white chocolate stings. Strings? I, I thought it said strings a while ago, but it's stings. S-T-I-N-G-S. Who knows? It's a drizzle. Oh. It is a drizzle. Yeah, it's just a drizzle. I'm trying to keep my mouth clean between each cut. I get the coffee flavor. 
That is so much better than the previous one with, call, with the, the espresso. You think and it's the bitterness added to it makes it seem more coffee-like? I guess so. It works better. Yeah. For me, it works so much better. That reminds me of like a, um, like a Swiss mocha or something like that. It's good. Um, yeah, that one was very, very delicious. And it's not bitter, bitter when I say bitter. It adds a bitterness to the coffee. It's just a little of that dark chocolate. No, I that. really enjoy that one. That's nice. It's like a, a heavily creamer coffee, mm -hmm. which I like. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is hazelnut dark chocolate. Feel pampered, and as you indulge in this artful blend of toasted hazelnut and dark chocolate with a touch of vanilla on the finish. Oh, you know, you, I was going to say, that doesn't taste like hazelnut, it tastes like vanilla. I primarily get vanilla. Mm -hmm. I don't really get hazelnut. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's almost all like a vanilla flavor. You would never know that's hazelnut. Mm -mm. At all. No, because we've had plenty of hazelnut candy, trust me, or chocolates. And, um... Well, once you've had... Anything hazelnut from, from Germany, Germany. Yeah. you won't ever want to go back to any American version of hazelnut. Yeah, it's not the same. Because the Germans know how to do hazelnut. They know their hazelnut. It's delicious. It's strong, bold, and it's perfect. That was just vanilla. Yeah, it was just vanilla. Nothing, it wasn't bad. No, it was it good. wasn't hazelnut. Still ch good chocolate. Raspberry dark chocolate, a classic pairing of ripe raspberries and dark chocolate creates a refreshing berry delight. Vibrant pink drizzles accentuate the luscious surprise. Mm. You definitely know it's raspberry. Yeah, you do. It reminds me of the Whitman's or Wisman's. Um, no, it's Whitman's. Whitman's, um, the candies that have the little raspberry centers. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds you of that it's not as strong, but it's still very good. You can definitely tell it's raspberry. Yeah, the raspberry isn't quite as strong, but it is delicious, and that's a classic pairing. Raspberry, dark chocolate, mm -hmm. it, it works yep. all the time. That's good. They know it's going to work, so that that's a winner for me. Sea salt caramel dark chocolate. The perfect combination of savory and sweet, a creamy buttery center is delicately covered in dark chocolate and sprinkled with pink Himalayan sea salt. The first flavor I got was that salt. Because mm -hmm. it's right on top. Mm -hmm. Around the outside. It never happened. <laughs> it happened, didn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I'll be vibrating here in about 10 minutes. I like that very much. It's very good. I like the salt. The dark chocolate, again, is not really bitter dark chocolate. No, so it's, it's not, not at all. And it goes well uh, with that salt. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, caramel flavor was nice. Once again, thick caramel. But it's not like that really hard caramel. Chewy no, caramel. It's no. It's like a soft caramel. I'm glad it's not hard and chewy. What's that one say? Dark chocolate collection. Oh, chocolate okay. collection. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Tiramisu dark chocolate. Brighten your day with this light mocha flavored cream kiss delight enveloped in a dark chocolate shell and rolled in assorted chocolate bits. The taste and aroma of an authentic espresso. Mm. Okay. That so, one has a similar taste to the one okay. before. Okay. Yeah, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. So I don't like the espresso in either one. Right. That one that I did like it was coffee. Was coffee. Mm -hmm. I like the coffee. I'm not digging the espresso. Right. Okay. You know what? I hate to say it, but the espresso it just reminds me of that Tootsie Roll flavor chocolate. A lot of people like it. I don't. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. I don't like Tootsie Roll chocolate. Uh, that reminds me of that. So I would not get either one of the espressos. I do genuinely love the coffee one though. I think this is a good set. There's enough flavors in there for sure that are good that were, if you like a chocolate mm -hmm. that has a little bit of flavor in it, that's these. Yes. Because it's primarily chocolate. Um, 
Yeah, I think this makes a good gift. Oh, yeah. So, am I going to go on Amazon, because that's where they sell these, I know for sure. Am I going to go on Amazon, am I going to pick out Cravings by Zoe for me to eat at home? No, because there's other chocolate I personally would rather have myself. Would I buy this as a gift to send to Meemaw in another state? Absolutely, and you can do that through Amazon. Uh, because Meemaw's gonna get 16 flavors of truffles, and I think she's gonna like it. I think she's gonna be happy. She's gonna get different flavors every single time, and I do think it makes a nice gift. And their dark chocolate's not a really, really dark no, dark chocolate. No, it's so not bitter. It, there was it's nothing. a good dark chocolate for everybody. Right, there was really not a bad one in the bunch. I did not care for their white chocolate, but there's only two. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's a big deal. You know, you only get two of them. And nobody, like Kevin said, is crazy enough to sit and eat half a box of chocolate. No. So, you know, they're gonna be eating it slow. It's gonna last longer than it lasts, than the 20 minutes it lasted here. So thank you very, very much to Georgia Ann for thinking of us. Um, it's always fun to eat a box of chocolate. <laughs> and thanks for watching.